Hey GearHeads, welcome back to BZB TV. This is Nate back here from the tech support team in the Fox Den. And today we're gonna to be doing a comparison video between our award-winning BG Adamo 4K and our BG Adamo Junior. Both amazing cameras. We're getting a lot of great positive feedback, a fan favorite. And today we're just gonna go over the differences, the similarities, prices, application. We're gonna show some video footage. We're gonna do some field testing and just see uh, what both these cameras offer for you and how they differ and and how they are similar. First, let's jump into our some similarities. As you can see, both cameras have the similar build, kind of the same base, I guess you can say, as well as the barrel for the lens, as well as they both have offer tally lights uh, for your production setup. They, they both come in black and white, but the biggest thing is that they both offer the, almost the same amount of simultaneous outputs on the back of a camera. That means that you could plug into uh, all the outputs on the back and they're all rolling at the same time. So those outputs include USB 2.0, USB 3.0, SDI, HDMI, uh, micro SD card reader, so you can record right onto an SD card, as well as audio input. They both have a 3.5 uh, millimeter audio input jack, so you can embed your audio into the camera, RS-232, RS-485, um, and a LAN connection. Um, the LAN connections for uh, multiple purposes. You got your, um, network connection, as well as PoE. They both support PoE, which is power over ethernet, so it can be powered up by your network switch if it supports that, as well as NDI. The cameras we have on display today are our non-NDI versions, but both these cameras come in NDI versions as well. They both support up to NDI HX3, so you're getting that high quality over that low bandwidth uh, feed there. Also, these cameras can be controlled in the exact same way. They can be controlled by the IR remote if you want to just point at it and use that. Also the web interface or the web GUI, you could just log in and control. Um, you do multiple things in the web interface as well as the BZB Gear control app that you can download onto Windows, on a Mac, an iPhone or an iPad. You can control it over your network and you're good to go there. And lastly, it can also be controlled for, uh, via RS-232 using a joystick or any other controllable device that you, supports that. Moving on is the differences. As you can see, they have, like I mentioned before, they have a similar build. Obviously the Adamo 4K is a little bigger than the uh, Junior because uh, it offers a little bit more. Big differences in the name, BG Adamo 4K. So it can output uh, that 4K image versus the 1080p camera, which it can you know, output that HD quality. The BG Adamo also supports 12G SDI. That's 4K at 60 over the SDI versus the Junior does 3G SDI, which is 1080p at 60. I know there's not a lot of cameras on the market that offer that, so that's a huge plus for the Damo 4K. Additionally, even though both of the cameras both offer USB 2.0 and 3.0, a big difference is with the Damo 4K, you can actually get a 4K at 30 hertz signal coming out of the USB 2.0 signal. So if you're looking to connect the camera, like maybe directly to the computer, look at the stream, maybe directly using the USB, you could do that as well coming out at 4K. Versus the Junior will come out at, it's still a high quality image of the HD at 1080p at 30 or at 60 depending on what your setting is going to be. And lastly, zoom levels. We offer three different zoom levels for each camera. For the Junior, we have a 12x, a 20x, and a 30x. And for the uh, 4K, we have a 12x, 25x, and a 31x. So just if you want to push that image just a little bit further for those tight shots from far away, that camera offered that as well. Today, we're going to be doing some field testing. And today, we have our 20x of our Junior and our 25x of our 4K and show you the differences between the zoom level as well as a field of view and so forth. So let's head out there. For our first test, we did a zoom test between the two cameras and we set up here in the office and we in our hallway is about 100 feet across from uh, wall to wall. And so up first is our Domo Junior 20X and Flo is now standing about 50 feet away from the camera. That is a full zoom. And we set some presets with the manual focus. So as you can see, he jumped right back into that preset to get that focus. And you see the sign cleared up real nicely there. Now he's walking over to our uh, 100 foot position and the camera is actually at full zoom still. And this is at 100 feet away, full zoom with the 20X Adamo Junior. As you can see, I just, I just clicked on that preset. And this is, like I said, it's manual focus. And now you can see, you see him really clear with the sign. Okay, next up, Adamo 4K 25X. Flo is walking to the 50 foot 
distant spot there. Uh, once again, I set a preset with manual focus. So as you can see, he's getting into position. And once he gets it right into that position with the sign, you can see it focuses very nice and clear on that sign with manual focus. And now he's gonna go ahead and walk over to our 100 foot position. And this is still at full zoom. And you know, the camera's getting a little blurry because it's still on manual focus. Um, so I set another preset for his position at the 100 foot preset with the manual focus, full zoom at 100 feet away. And I'm just gonna move the camera over to the left a little bit to get him right in the frame. There we go. And you can see everything is nice and clear at 100 feet away. And once again, this is using the 25X of the Adamo 4K. Thanks, Flo. So for our next test, we wanted to show the difference between the Damo Jr. and the 4K, um, just about 15, 16 feet away. Uh, first up is the Damo Jr. And so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on that. Once again, using a preset uh, angle with, with a manual focus. And you can see nice and clear, even about 15 feet away. You can read the signs really well. Next up, Damo 4K. You can see zooming in, as well using a preset with manual focus uh, even clear because it is a 4k camera and nice and clear and now we're going to go ahead and do it um, kind of swipe through this is the Domo jr and lastly as you can see at the the zoom you can see the wards with the Domo jr here and then we're going to transition over to the Domo 4k you can see the quality just upgrades a lot uh, when you switch over to that 4k if you this is great if you want that high quality uh, 4K image up close. If you're looking for that even extra quality and image and uh, clarity uh, zoomed in, you can do that with the 4K. And now we are in our front lobby of our office and we're now we're gonna be doing a field of view test with the cameras zoomed all the way out. Um, we are kind of pre-measured. I'm about 10 feet from the camera. The wall is about 16 feet away. And first up is the Adamo Jr. 20X. And we kind of measured across the room. So starting on here from one side of the edge of our table to the other edge of the frame is about 17 feet across. So um, you, it covers a lot of ground um, from just being zoomed all the way out with the wall being only 16 feet away. Um, so let's go ahead and jump over to the Domo 4K to see the field of view uh, for that camera. And next up is the BG Adamo 4K. This, once again, this is the 25X. I am 10 feet away. The wall is about 16 feet away from me. And then using our edges, we have the edge of our table here. Uh, starting at one side, on the other side of our display case is about 18 feet away. So you can see that even from 10 to 15, 10 to 16 feet away, the camera cover, covers a lot of ground um, just at a short, uh, short distance. So you're looking to get, uh, cover a lot of ground ground at that distance at a high quality, the BG Adamo 4K can do it for you. Well, there you have it, Gearheads. As you can see, uh, two of our amazing products here at BZB Gear are BG Adamo 4K and our BG Adamo Junior. As you can see, um, kind of recapping uh, the similarities, a similar build, similar outputs, uh, similar quality, um, auto tracking, everything, uh, field of view, as well as the differences. You have a 4K camera versus a 1080. The 4K is a little bigger than the 1080. Um, why 4K? Why do we decide to add a 1080? Well, uh, obviously not every application supports 4K, especially uh, maybe you're in a church production um, and a lot of like video production switchers only support 1080. Um, if you're doing some live streaming, a lot of streaming services like Facebook or YouTube, they'll only allow you to stream up to uh, even 720 or 1080. So that's why we wanted to have a high quality camera, but also specifically tailored to HD, not the, just the 4K, but also we offer the 4K for those high quality, huge productions uh, who, that you really want that uh, 
that for 4K signal. So um, we, that's why we offer two amazing cameras that can do everything you want. And lastly, as you know, the BG Adamo 4K has won a few awards already, just being out in the market, being uh, showcased at uh, some trade shows around the world, has picked up some awards. And uh, the reason the BG Adamo Junior came to exist was there's a lot of requests for a 1080 version of that camera because uh, everyone loved the features of it, the auto tracking, the high quality, the simultaneous outputs, but they just needed it in an HD quality. So we, that's what we did. Um, so that's why we have two of those cameras. And as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to reach out to us here at BZB Gear, either our support team or sales associates. We'd love to answer any of your questions, see how we could be a great solution for your environment. You can always leave a comment below in the video as well, um, and we'll get back to you as soon as you can. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to videos like these so you'll be notified when more videos like these come out. And as always, have a great day.